Hi, this is Bill for Sparky Channel, and today I'm going to show you how to make an S-shaped bend and how to make an offset bend. Now, this happens to be a 45 degree offset, and it could be 30 degrees, it could be 60 degrees, but this is an offset, and uh, this is an S-shape, and the advantage to the S-shape is you can get from one side of a stud bay to the other side uh, quickly without using up too much room. The advantage to the the advantage to the offset bend is that when you run your wire, you can run your wire more easily. Uh, this is a more severe bend. This night, there's two 90 degree bends. Those are pretty severe, and this is more gentle, so it'll be easier to run your wire. So if you have enough room, you should always use an offset, but if you don't have a lot of room, uh, go ahead and use an, an S-shaped bend, and you'll get from uh, one box on one, bay side over to the other quickly. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this down, the S-shaped bend, and I'm going to show you how to make one. Okay, to make this S-shaped bend, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to measure in two inches right here. That's an arbitrary amount, but uh, that's the way I did the other one. So uh, two inches from here, and I'll put the arrow right on the mark. Then I'm going to put the conduit on the floor, and I'm going to go ahead and bend this to 90 degrees. Alright. I'll take and double check that. Looks like right on 90 degrees. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take my foot, put it right here on the conduit, and I'm going to Mark off 14 and a half inches right here. And then I'm going to subtract off five inches because the radius of my bender is five inches. So that'd be at nine and a half inches. Let's make it right there. Nine and a half inches. And then I'm going to make this pencil mark all the way around like this all right so that's nine and a half inches from the back of the bend from from right here to right here is nine and a half inches and that should give me a 14 and a half inch uh, inside measurement for my s-shaped bend Okay, so I'm going to put the conduit in my bender and put the line right on the arrow. And I'm going to back up and get this nice and then in the same plane. See, I'm in the same plane there. Okay, now I'm going to put the boot on the handle of the bender. And I'm going to go all the way down to 90. It's hard to get all the way to 90 up in the air, so I'm going to do the rest of it right here. Alright, this should do it. Okay. Let's see what we got. Right on. I'm going to make a mark right here. I'm going to cut it right there. Whew. Here we go. Okay. Now to get these straight, you, you take you take the pipe and put it right up against the guard. See? That isn't straight, that isn't straight. You get it, get it straight right up against the guard. And this here has to be 90 degrees with the pipe. Okay, I'm going to remount my cut. Okay, so here's your S-shaped EMT bend. Now I'm going to take this one down and I'm going to show you how to make this one. To make the 45 degree offset, first I'm going to start with a, a 3 inch piece sticking out here and the arrow is going to be on the line. I'm going to make a 45 degree bend. You put your boot on the handle of the bender, and this is 45 degrees right here. Like that, like that. 
the ticket. And so now let me let me show you. Okay, for a 45 degree offset, the multiplier is 1.4. And that's actually right on the back of this tape. All the multiplier, all the conduit bending multipliers are on the back of this tape. And it says 45 degree offset is 1.4. Now on offsets, you gotta measure from the bottom of this top conduit to the surface. So these are 5 eighths of an inch wide. They're half inch interior diameter, 5 eighths uh, outside. So our distance is 13 and 7 eighths. So we got 13 and 7 eighths times the multiplier that you find on the back of this tape, 1.4. And that, you probably need a calculator for this one. That comes out to 19 and 7 16 inches. So, all right, so now I'm going to make this second band right here. In this case, the second band is made 19 and 7 16 inches from the first pencil mark. That's the 45 degree multiplier, which is 1.4 times the distance of 13 and 7 eighths inches. I'm going to put my pencil mark right on the arrow, and you got to get your head like straight this way to make sure you're right in the, in the plane. And with this right on the arrow, okay, that's good. Okay, we're gonna go down to 45 degrees again. So put your boot on the handle, and there it is. So that should be it. That should be a 45 degree offset right there. Okay, let's see how it turned out. Put that in there. There we go. Huh, right on the money. So now that you've made two beautiful bands, take your cleaner and clean off the pencil marks. So there you go. We got a uh, S-shaped band and a 45 degree offset. Thank you for watching Sparky Channel. I'll put links in my video description for the new Klein tape measure that has the conduit bending multipliers and shrink tables right on the back of it. And I'll put a link for the ideal conduit benders, both in the aluminum head like I used in the video, but also in the uh, ductile iron. The ductile iron is heavier, but it's more durable, and most guys like to use the ductile iron. I like the aluminum because it's lighter and I can see the lines better and I believe it's more visible on the videos for viewers to see the lines with the aluminum. And I'll put a link for the DeWalt 5 inch bandsaw which is a really good bandsaw for a general purpose. Uh, for instance if you're a general contractor or handyman uh, this 5 inch capacity can be really useful. And then I'll put links for four different brands of the mini bandsaws. Those are specifically best for electricians. They only have a two and a half inch capacity, but they're lighter and quicker, which is what you need as an electrician. And so the, the Bosch is a real nice lightweight one. It's probably the least expensive. And then the Makita is also very lightweight, but it's probably the most expensive. And then there's the Milwaukee and the DeWalt mini bandsaws. They're all excellent and I'll put links for all of them in my video description. Thanks. I hope this video was helpful.